happy Monday. We are going to have <clears throat> a little bit of a different episode here today. Welcome to Conscious Straight Talk with Katie and Lindsay. Uh, as you guys know, Katie's father very suddenly, very unexpectedly passed away um, a week and a half ago. And so we've been talking to you guys about grief and um, we're going to continue talking about that. But I wanted to take a break today and we had... Um, her father's memorial was yesterday, and it was an absolutely beautiful service. And it kind of got me to thinking, you know, how short life is. The reality here is that her dad shouldn't be dead right now. It should not have happened this way. And it makes one stop and think about our own lives. And so I thought it would be really nice today to share um, just a little bit. They, they made a beautiful long memorial. It's about 30 minutes long. And you guys know my sh our show was only like 10, 15 minutes. So I'm going to try something I've never done before. I'm going to try screen sharing with you guys just a few things of Paul, um, some beautiful pictures that they put together uh, as I tell you a little bit about the memorial. And the reason that I'm doing this, you guys, is so, you know, we're all connected. We're all one on some level and we all have things to get through. And I do feel sharing our stories, sharing what's happened, sharing how we're doing is so important because as people are going through this, we feel alone a lot of the time, but we're not. And so I'm hoping that by sharing this stuff about Paul today and what Katie's journey has been, it will make you think a little bit about your journey and um, where you're at right now and your father figure in your life or your mate and appreciate them for a few minutes even if you're in the midst of a fight or something crazy is going on, we don't know what's going to happen in the next hour, in the next five minutes, even in the next week. So I want to ask you guys today in Paul's name and the Hutchinson family name to stop and take a few minutes and love those that are around you, no matter what's going on, because you don't ever know. So with that, I'm going to try something new, you guys. Don't be mad if I lose you. I will come right back. But I want to try the screen sharing. Oh no, where did it go? Okay, you're gonna have to give me a minute here because I thought I had it and I don't. I thought it would be here. Okay, hold on one minute. I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna come right back on. Um, as I try to do this, I thought it was just an easy little button. Well, here, I can do it this way. See how this looks for you guys. Um, shoot, I thought it would be super easy to screen share. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take this light down and I'm going to try to show you Paul here. This is a beautiful, so this is Katie's father. He is remembered by Katie and her husband and their three children, by his other daughter, Julie, her husband, their four children, uh, Marlita, his girlfriend of 30 years, so, you know, they had a family, beautiful family. Um, I got to meet all of them yesterday. They were just wonderful people. Um, let me play this for a minute for you. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. I need Katie and the help with the tech here. <laughs> I miss you, Katie. Um, so this is her dad and a few pictures of, of them. And the service actually started um, his daughter julie is an amazing concert pianist she is absolutely incredible so she opened up the service um and gave this beautiful uh piano rendition of one of her dad's favorite songs here we go oh, is it working yes there we go so we had his um his music going then she read a beautiful poem Katie took a turn, shared some, some beautiful stories. Um, I believe it was Merlita's cousin who emceed the event and had some really nice things to say. Um, but I have to say, what stole the show was Paul's grandson. And this was such an attribute to who Paul was as a person. His nine-year-old grandson got up there and just blew the room out of the water with such a beautiful tribute and memorial to his grandfather and how much he would miss him and what he meant to him. And it was beautiful to watch this family come together and celebrate this life that, unfortunately, I never got to meet him, but he just seems, I mean, if looking at the, the family that's around him, they're all 
just beautiful, colorful, wonderful people that are experiencing this sudden loss that shouldn't be happening. So it's nice that, you know, we can all come together and, and remember him. And these are some beautiful photos of his family um, that he's left behind. And I know when we watch things like this, we start thinking about our own lives. And that's kind of why I wanted to share this with everybody today. It's Monday, it's the beginning of a new week. And I want to invite you guys to stop what you're doing, to call that loved one, that person that you care so deeply about, whether it's your dad or your partner or whomever, and offer up some love because we don't know. Life is so short and we need to utilize situations like this in memory. Um, you know, it is the circle of life. It is a part of it. So I will go ahead and post the, um, there we go, we got some light back again. I will go ahead and post the link to that video. Uh, they have it up. If you guys want to watch the whole thing, it is a beautiful tribute to uh, Paul. And it was a very nice service yesterday. So again, um, I just want to encourage you guys, life is short, you never know. So stop and take a moment today and understand your loved ones. You know, that's what this show has been all about is understanding each other more um, and understanding our processes as we go through them. So Katie will be back on Wednesday. We miss her so, so much. Uh, and we will talk more about grief at that time. I think we're gonna focus on Wednesday about talking to your children um, about grief and, and how to go through that process because it needs attention. We need to talk about it, you know? So, all right, you guys, I'm going to leave you there. There will be um, the link to that video down below. And again, I just encourage you, please share some love today. Make sure the people you know um, and love know that you love them because we can't always make that assumption and we never know what's going to happen. So, all right, you guys, I hope you have a great, great week filled with love and peace and light and success. And uh, we will talk to you guys on Wednesday. All right, have a great day, bye.